Hey everybody, it is the Tuesday after Memorial Day weekend and I am, I'm so behind on all my chores, all my gardening stuff. Um, we had a great weekend. My youngest son celebrated his 21st birthday and we had a big get together for him. Um, and we got a new member of the family, which I'll introduce on this video, but um, I walked through my garden and kind of took in how beautiful it is in the morning and um, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, just introducing y'all to our new puppy, Sunny, and just a sweet little garden tour. Um, I hope you guys enjoy.
and I'm going to talk about one more thing. Um, we did have a major setback um, with the purchase of our house. Um, for those of you who don't know, we have been um, under contract for five months now buying a bigger house. The house that we live in now is 874 square feet. It's two bedroom, one bath. And because we are going to adopt children, we needed to get a bigger place. Um, it has been a stretch and um, not a dull moment. And then right when we got to the end, I mean, I think one of the last videos I posted, I said that we were expecting to get a clear to close. And the call that I got when we were expecting to get a clear to close was actually a, we can't finance you. And it was because our property had been rezoned in 2008 to be zone A. Matter. FHA does not finance in zone A. I don't know if it's just new builds and we're getting a manufactured home. I'm not sure like if you were purchasing a house that was pre-existing, if it's zone A, if they finance that, I don't know. But um, I'm just mentioning it to save y'all the heartache really of finding out. They, they didn't find out until we had our appraisal done and it's on the appraisal so you get really far in the process and you pay for many things before you find out that you're zone A. That might be something if you're on land or you're purchasing land and you know you want to go FHA with a home, um, you might you want to find out about that zoning. Now we could you can go conventional. Um, the reason we did not go conventional the first time around was because the FHA monthly payment was so much lower. The interest rate was several points lower or several um, numbers lower and just the overall payment ended up being lower and that was enticing to us so we went that direction. Um, we are now with the same house going conventional um, and shouldn't have any problems. That that was the only thing that came up that stopped it. It was big, but it was the only thing that came up. So, um, and conventional does not mind that. They actually, Anywho, um, we are starting over uh, with a conventional loan, same house. And, um, you know, because it felt like um, enough to make us quit, you know, it felt hard like it was hard to get going again do we have what it takes to do this again and you know we really feel like or really believe that we are fulfilling an assignment that the Lord has given us so we feel obedience is very important okay. but I had a few things that um, were kind of bringing me down because of it and and ways that I was handling um, handling the day uh, just because of my disappointment and you know I feel like the Lord sh shone a light on it and um, and then we talked about it you know and I let it go I let go of that behavior um, it doesn't serve me anymore it's not I want to grow up you know I want to grow up into all things I don't want to stay in past um, weakness and in, in, in ways that I would handle crisis or stress, you know, I want to walk in faith. I want to know that there's always a ram in the bush, you know. Um, I want to be looking for the doors and the windows and not wallowing in self-pity. Um, but you know what? We didn't quit. We're back on the horse. We're going conventional. Uh, and we're believing for um, just good success with it, like it to go faster. Uh, maybe the company that we're dealing with is going to um, just be be so good at what they do that um, somehow we come out in a better place. Um, either way, we are walking in obedience and we are going to do and finish. We're going to finish this race. You know, actually, yesterday, God gave me Hebrews 12. Uh, because he gave me the scripture, the scripture came to my heart where he was saying, um, you know, lift up the hands that hang low and the feeble knees, you know, and I just imagined this kind of hunched over like sad, you know, womp, 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 you know, kind of body posture. And, um, you know, but that's exactly what he's talking about. Like, hey, you know, what, what is that? You know, stand up strong, be, be strong. Um, walk in endurance 
All right, I'm going to sign off now. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me in my garden today, and I hope you'll join me again next time. Bye-bye.